The Japanese government says it's ready to work with the International Atomic Energy Agency in removing radioactive materials around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. A 12-member team of IEA experts is to make the nine-day visit at the request of Japan's nuclear crisis minister, Goshi Hosono. The team will arrive in Japan on Friday. They'll travel to Fukushima Prefecture to watch the decontamination process and give advice before compiling a report. Japan's Chief Cabinet Secretary Osamu Fujimura spoke to reporters on Tuesday. Japan will cooperate with and learn from international decontamination experts. I hope their visit will help the process to move faster and more efficiently. The government says it also hopes to establish the best way to clean up radioactive substances so it can be shared by other nations. Miyagi Prefecture in northeastern Japan says it will begin monitoring atmospheric radiation levels in all of its towns and cities. Miyagi neighbors Fukushima Prefecture. Authorities say they want to keep track of fallout from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The Miyagi Prefectural Government will install 44 new monitoring posts. It plans to start operating them by next March. Nine monitors will be positioned in the southern part of the prefecture in areas closest to the border with Fukushima. Six of the posts will be set up in Onagawa town and Ishinomaki city near Onagawa nuclear power plant. The March 11th tsunami washed away four of the seven monitors that had been around the plant. Miyagi officials say the data collected at the posts will be sent to the Science and Technology Ministry and released to the public on the Internet. Also from Iwate, the season's first rice harvest from the prefecture hit stores in Japan on Wednesday. The new crop cleared tests for radioactive contamination from the damaged Fukushima Daiichi power plant. A department store in Morioka City held a promotional event for the popular Stomebore brand of rice. The first 200 customers were given free servings. The quality of grain is better than usual this year. Thanks to the hot summer, the harvesting was delayed by September typhoons. I love rice. I'm relieved it's safe. Iwate rice is free of radioactive cesium. I know customers can safely eat this year's crop. Rice harvested in Iwate last year has almost sold out because of fears that this year's crop would be contaminated. Japan's nuclear power officials are trying to make sure they don't repeat a dangerous mistake. A utility company started construction on Wednesday to protect its nuclear facility. It's following an order from the Japanese government. Sea walls around nuclear plants must be at least 50 meters high. That's the height of the tsunami that flooded and disabled the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in March. People working for Hokuriku Electric Power Company are building a reinforced concrete seawall at its nuclear facility in Shika. The town is on the Sea of Japan coast. The wall will set 11 meters above sea level. It'll be 4 meters high and 700 meters long. Workers at Hokuriku Electric are also preparing in case a, a tsunami surges over the wall. They will install a new drainage gate to minimize damage at the plant. Power companies across Japan are making preparations to better protect their facilities. Workers will raise embankments or build new ones at 45 plants in all. That's 90% of the total. Crews at the Shimane nuclear power plant in western Japan were the first to begin construction. They started building an embankment in July. It'll be 50 meters above sea level when it's finished. Workers at the Hamaoka nuclear power plant in central Japan will start building a seawall in the middle of next month. The embankment will be 18 meters above sea level. It is expected to be finished by December 2012. All of this new seawall construction is expected to be completed within the next three years at the latest.
Japan's Board of Audit says the trade and industry ministry, ministry is holding about $860 million in unused grants from municipalities slated to host planned nuclear power plants. The board says the reserve fund is unnecessary. It's asking the ministry to review the situation. The grants are part of a program that started about 40 years ago. They're designed to help develop municipalities where nuclear power plants are to be built. The money can be used to build roads, social welfare, and sports facilities. The Board of Audit survey showed about $1.6 billion are being held in reserve for 14 planned reactors across Japan as of the end of March. Construction has begun at only three of the 14 reactors. Plans for the other 11 have been scrapped or delayed because of opposition from locals. The Board of Audit has found the money in reserve for these 11 reactors totals about $864 million. The, the Trade and Industry Ministry says it will determine how to deal with the unused reserve funds after studying the results of an ongoing review of Japan's basic energy policies. It's been a distinct pleasure meeting you. Arthur, we really must be going. Thank you for a memorable afternoon. Usually one must go to a bowling alley to meet a woman of your stature.